picture makes sense. But I'm gonna say that is the same one as last night. Pretty rad, pretty interesting. When it's fine of the day though, it's tough, honestly. It's definitely between that, uh, that cherry there. Ugh, get up here. Empty, of course, and perfect. Just immaculate condition, beautiful. Okay, oh, there is a Murex, look. I swear, I think it is. Yeah, it's really old, but I'm pretty sure that is a Murex. We just walked around the other side of the tree here. Sweet. My stupid shovel is touching everything behind me. Old moon snail. Sereth cone buried. Ah, oh, it's broken. <clears throat> Pretty nice. What's, what's under here? If I could get to it. See, like just half an hour ago, 40 minutes ago maybe, this was all underwater. It's dropping crazy fast. What you're seeing, oh, that's a baler. Oh, that's a baler. Come check it out. That's a baler right there. Let me get my phone out to film. See it? Let's check it out. Come on, is it gonna be good, you guys? Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, that's <laughs> giant. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, come on. Oh. <gasps> yes! Yes! That's what I wanted! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Guys, let me rinse this off. That's what I wanted. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Yes! No chance! Wow! Woo! <laughs> No way. Pretty good, Johnny. No way, you guys. That is exactly what I wanted. I can't get more stoked than this. That is incredible. It just kept going. It just didn't stop mm -hmm. getting bigger, man. It was going to be tiny. I know. And I just kept feeling around it like, oh, it's getting bigger, <laughs> yo. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh. Guys, not a chance. Look how many others there are. I know, right? We're not even halfway through. We still gotta go all the way out there. Mm -hmm. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's keep going. That's epic. Mm -hmm. Wow, one of my best finds ever. That's all I wanted today. It's something like Guys, that. We have another one of those sea urchins now. It might be the same one, but uh, it was last night it was about oh, 100 meters away from where I am at the moment. Check it out. I also wanted to point this one out. Look at that moon snail. That's crazy. So here it is. And I have learned a bit of information about it. So I'm pretty sure it is okay to touch. You just have to be gentle with it. But check it out. Let's hold it. How cool is that? So it's just a uh, sea star. So I'm pretty sure it's only dangerous to you if you eat it, which uh, makes sense. But I'm gonna say that is the same one as last night. Pretty rad, pretty interesting. We're not gonna take a look at it for too long because I've already shown it. But uh, yeah, that's it. Pretty cool. Look at that though. That's a beauty. Oops, Guys, look at that. That is a, oh my God, that's a Nicobar Triton. I'm positive. Shame about that hole, but I found uh, two others of these. That's sweet. What's that? A stilwitter of some sort. If I can grab it. Oh no, it's one of those green things. Way too old for me though. Check that out. That's beauty, guys. Wow. What else do we have in this little pile here? Joking. What's that? Mitra of some sort. Too old for me again. Man. Haven't found one of those in a long time. Is that a live blue cowrie? Positive, it's yeah, 100%. That's live, man. Check that out. Two sweet finds. We've just got started a minute ago. Nice. All right, let's keep searching, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a a uh, beautiful erosa. Oh yeah, we'll move him back. He was upside down. Look at that erosa. Wow. That's a beauty. Let's check that out. 
Wow, that's some colour for you. Holy. That's fantastic. I can't believe that um, Nicobar Triton, I never found one here. The only two that I've found have been at another beach, probably five kilometers from here. That's sweet. What else do we got? There's a bonnet shell. Nice one, check it. Not bad. We're still the only ones here. Awesome. Yeah, I'll give you guys a better look at that one. Even though you've seen a lot of them through the last couple of videos. This is epic. I'm going to check this spot here really well. It's pretty high still anyway. So here's about all I can look. Might lift up some rocks. Check it out. Oh, there's a lot of stuff under here. Any textiles? Here we have a sea cucumber. Everywhere. Gotta be careful putting this guy back. To squash him, there you go. Should be okay. What do we have here? Hmm. So, we just found this one over there. I noticed that was like sitting exactly like it is. Haven't touched it. And... <laughs> oh, what? Two in a row. You have to be kidding. Look at that within 10 meters of each other. Look at that. Two balers. What, here in Harvey Bay, Australia. Two balers in less than 30 seconds. Wow. It was just sitting under, barely showing that. Oh, that's so cool. This is dreamy. This is what dreams are, dude. Yeah, we're not even done. We're not even half done, dudes. Wow. <laughs> you are a lot dope. of like foam covering the particular shell piles, but look at this. I've never ever ever seen one of these. Wow. What the heck is that? I have absolutely no idea and I've never even seen pieces of it. It's not some sort of Mitra. It's definitely way too small and fat to be one of those comment down below guys if you do know that is incredible that's a brand new find is that a grape cowrie let's see it is a grape cowrie nice it's about 8 30 in the morning here right now down under see a little dog walk i think it is focus there we go pretty good size pretty nice but yeah, there's a lot of sea foam here. So it's gonna be a bit tricky to take a look through it. That's all right though, we've got all the time in the world for today. It's annoying because most of the sea foam, like look, there's two cowrie shells here. One, pretty old, and then two, hiding in the yucky, nasty sea foam. But that was some pretty cool finds right there. What do we got up here? I would love to find more carrier shells today. That's what I'm really uh, trying to find in today's episode. Is that a piece? Nope, barnacle piece. Oh, little green cowrie. Sweet. What is that? Be tough to grab. Ah, oh, it's broken anyway. No idea what it is. Plus, we will probably go to the other side of the beach as well, where there's typically more of a pile, especially of sand dollars. What about down here? Do you guys see anything? This silly foam is all up in the way. This is Serif. You can't exactly. <coughs> Oh, that worked a little bit. Did I drop something? I did not. <sighs> Barely. I need my uh, leaf blower. Oh, there's a margin cowrie, I believe. I haven't found one of those in a good while, actually. I'm pretty sure it's a margin cowrie. 
the little pink ends. Let me show you guys upside down. Pretty cool. Not much around there. We could check out the front. Let's do that. I gotta take my shoes off. They are so annoying. I forgot my bag as well, so I'm gonna have to carry them. Hopefully not drop any. There's more up there, you see? I need the water to just come up once. What did I just drop? Oh, I just dropped something. Oh no. It wasn't that good, because I don't remember it. Oh, it was the grape. Dang it, where is the grape? Do you guys see the grape that I dropped? First shell of the day looks to be a bonnet. And it's a beautiful example, actually. It's got a little spot there, but that's okay. Beautiful. It's probably like three inches, I'd say. Really nice. Let's check out over here now. We have another two bonnet shells here. One has a hole in the top, you see that? And the other one looks pretty fine to me. Definitely gonna try and get it out. Focus, there we go. Really simple find right there. Uh, I might take that one out, just take a look at it. Seems pretty simple. Yeah, that's a shame. That was a big one too. But I'll take the checkered bonnet, that's for sure. Empty, of course. Sweet! Let's go, guys. All right, we're nearing the end of this video. Uh, we're nearly at the end of the beach. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far. It's not ended yet, though. We can still find more. We got three awesome shells here. I'll point them out. A bonnet, a black moon snail, and a white moon snail. Probably a meter or two from where I just was sitting. Let's go for the bonnet first up. Oh, uh, actually, I want to check out that black moon snail to be honest see it there there's there it is there we go barely sitting there wow that is funky nice that's exciting a black moon snail i only found a couple of those Arr, that one's gonna be tough i don't know if i can get it actually Arr, that might be a stayer here we have a white moon snail Look at that. Pretty or what? Pretty cool. Alrighty. Uh, I'd have to use a torch. Sort of. Ah, it's not going to reach. Damn. Uh, ew. My hand's covered in sea foam. Um, could use this rock maybe. Oh, sorry, Mr. Sea Urchin. I think we might have to leave that one. Arr. Maybe if I get it from underneath, try pushing it. <sighs> Sorry about the camera angle. Ah, I'm just gonna leave it, I've got enough anyway. Anything else around me that I can scoop up? Look at this, my bag is just about full. That's crazy. Oh, is there anything I can do for that? Probably not. I'm just gonna have to leave it, guys back for it tomorrow night I guess or whenever I can come back and film another video <sighs> piece of Arabian what do we got in front of you anything that I can see oh huh. the front's exposed Let's check it out I kind of hurt my finger trying to get that thing out that was pushed in hey Mr. Krabs stingy aren't you Silly fella. Alright, I think that's it for this little section here. That I could see, anyway. Yep, don't see anything. Let's keep moving. that. We have a big old eel right here. Wow. How cool is that? That is very cool. Wish I could put the camera under. Man, haven't seen one this close before. Well, we saw one earlier, but not this big. That fella's giant. There he goes. How cool is that? See you later, buddy. This oh, one here, thought it was great. Really cool looking. Beautiful color on that one. 
just looking through the rest of it now coming to the end here I see a sand dollar finally another sand dollar to add to my growing growing pile here look at that we've probably got 30 or 40 in there I reckon that's crazy cool now what do we have here there's just so much to go through guys it would take probably a day to go through every single pile here ah it's broken what do you guys see comment down below if you see anything Look at this tiny conjoined, uh, what is it? Scallop sort of thing. Wow, look at that blatant red right there. That's insanely cool. Wow. Might be one of the best I've ever seen. Hope it makes it. My goodness, that's cool. We have a clandestine as well. Super crusty on top, but hey, that's still a clandestine. So we found a donkey and a clandestine so far. That's sweet. I was looking at something here too. Yeah, this orange one. Looks pretty cool. Unique colors. And I see a Aussie Genonia. Micro Genonia, that's what I call them. Pretty cool. That's a blue cowrie. Is that a jingle shell I saw? Don't know, it's gone now. speak to the tiny uh, worm snail shell thing. I don't even know what it's called. Let's come up here and look at the stuff in the sand. Can't see much. These sand dollars in here? No rocks and stuff. Let's check out this pile again. Yeah, maybe. Might have some good stuff. I did find my, what, first ever Chinese cowrie up here. There's a little cowrie there. It was up here somewhere. So you never know. Oh, juvenile something. Juvenile cowrie of some sort. Cool. That's a nice little surprise. There's a little cone shell. I don't tend to take the tiny cone shells because there's just millions here. There's another Mitchell that I like. Tiny. See in there? Tiny fella. I really like those. Here's everything that we found in the first episode of today's trip. We have a giant like fossilized looking uh, barnacle piece, a lot of murex. We got one, two, three, four, five, six murex. We got three baler shells, this one being the best baler shell. Pretty awesome. This one being the best find of the day, giant murex. Awesome, about an inch and a half long. A couple other murex there tiny baler shell, a big baler piece. That's what I'm looking for today still. We're gonna go out again for the next four or five hours in hopes to find a big baler shell just like this one here. It's definitely possible. They are here, as you can see, we found one, two, three, four pieces. This one would have been absolutely mega. So comment down below, guys, wish me luck. Got a couple of spindles there. I just love that Murex, beautiful color. I should be able to get all that like rock out of there. And yeah, that's everything. Thank you guys for watching. Look forward to the next episode in a bottle right there. That's what we found. Just waiting for it to drop. Thanks for watching guys. It's right there. Oh, Stuck in the tree. <laughs> Yo, can you grab the phone out and film as well? And where is it? Wow, it's in my pocket. Hold on guys, let's show you this. I want to get this for my Instagram as well. Wow. You see that? Alrighty, let's grab them. We got one Murex there. 
Oh, yes. That's awesome. And then I believe that's another one. Oh, I don't want to break it. Oh, it's a bit broken. That's awesome. Two Murex shells. Nice. Yes. Stoked. Dude. There's so much in there, though. Some strombus there. Urgh. My stupid shovel. It's in my backpack. <laughs> Look at that. Three Murex shells in the exact same little hole. We gotta check more of these. That's awesome. Beautiful condition that one is. Straight into the bag. Anything else in there? A lot of grit. What's that tiny one? Is that a tiny Murex? Look at this tiny Murex. See it? Tiny. What else is in here? What is that? A nutmeg or something? Can you get that out of my bag for a second? It's so irritating. What else is in here? <coughs> what a nice little honey hole. Can't believe that, you guys. Two Murex in one little spot. Alrighty, let's go to the next one, eh? That was unbelievably cool. What we found in today's shell hunt. Check it out, we got a lot of different stuff. Like this one, this one is just giant. I love the color inside of it. Might give it a clean up when I get home, make it all silver. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Imagine that, the whole thing silver. That'd be really cool, I think. Uh, the best find of the day though, oh, it's tough, honestly. It's definitely between that, uh, that cherry there, and maybe even this bonnet. I just love the tiny bonnet. How cool is that? Such a tiny fella. We do have a couple of other things here. We do have that one there. This cone shell here, which is beautiful. It is just incredible colors. Uh, that's a real shame. I think it might be a tessellate cone of some sort, maybe. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, subscribe. Thank you so much.